Hey, it's JC here. JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That's Toledo, Ohio, 43617 419 531 6097. We've got Chuck the Knife. We've got Joe in the study cam. We've got my really cool crew grass pop shirt that's for my friend Sabine over in uh, over in, in Holland there. And uh, let's get this next box cracked open and see what we got here. Second video, this is a fairly semi light week. And let me grab something real quick. See, the new issue of Detective Comics is out this week. This is cover B of 1007, and you can see that 1003 that came out a few weeks ago it is a nice connecting cover. So if you've not had a chance to pick up your 1003, if you want to have that connecting cover with 1004, make sure you do so. Whoops, sorry. Got the smack the camera there. Okay, put the camera back on, make sure, yep, that's good. Put the rest of these detective comics over here. I see we've got War of the Realms. Uh, I see Venom came out. So this is uh, issue 14. This is a Kyle Holtz cover. This isn't just War of the Realms. Uh, uh, crossover tie-in with Venom number 14. This is the Retailer Summit uh, exclusive covers from uh, Retailer Summit this past uh, weekend at Las Vegas. I wasn't able to Hank it, make it there, but my good friend Hank from uh, Hank's Comics and Manga in Amsterdam was there along with my good buddy Butch. But these here, guarantee that probably no one else in town has these. Not sure what price I'm putting on them yet. You'll have to check with us. So we've got the Terrifics number 16. At that that came in this week. And those detective comics I pulled out, I see that they're in here in three different places. I had a big stack. We've got two over in one other stack. On this side over here. Another decent stack. Obviously, somebody at the Diamond Warehouse was not micromanaged to put all those issues together. I see Wonder Woman. I see some more of the radically rearranged Ronin ranked out. I see we've got... It's for Avengers number 19. This is the Blade Battle Lines cover. This is another one of those. So we've got Gasolina, issue 18. That's set aside for a poor customer. And yet, some more terrifics that are hidden underneath something else. Again, somebody was not micromanaged. All the terrifics should have been together in one spot. As you can see, I ordered so many of them, so that means you have to put them in different spots. Uh, very, very poorly, poorly done. Got Batman Beyond, number 32. Cover B, I've got a couple of people that want that set aside, so those are getting set aside immediately. Runaways number 21. Again, I've got two people that buy this, so both copies of this get set aside immediately. We've got Wonder Woman number 71. Yeah, nice, beautiful cover on that there. Junior Eye Horrors, number five. It's cover C. That's for somebody up in Monroe, Michigan. So we've got Iron Man, number 11. Tony Stark Iron Man, number 11. I look at the cover, and can you can you tell what's going on in this, on this cover? 
I really can't tell what's going on in this cover. It's it's not very clear. It's not very good. So we have the concept design covers for Star Wars Age of Republic, Jabba the Hutt. So I've got some people that are going to want those. Got the new volume of East and West, volume 9. That's finally come in. Got the Unsellable Wasp, number 8. I've got one copy going on in the stands. We'll see if that one copy sells. If that copy doesn't sell, it cuts. I cut it back to the one copy. Thus, the Unsellable Wasp. Marvel's Greatest Craters. Again, these were called True Believers. Why they're calling them Marvel's Greatest Craters now is beyond me. This is a buck. First issue of Power Pack. This is a great book back in the day. If you never had a chance to read it, this is your chance now. Please read this. Let's see, Flash number 71. The Derek Chu cover. Not as sexy as his uh, Harley Quinn covers, but still a pretty damn good cover. And that's part two of Flash Year One. I see I only have one cover, and this must be cover, maybe I just ordered just one of these, this is like cover D, and it's Dan Sakai cover, has Yusagi Ujimbo on the front. And we've got, oh, who's this from? So Neon Future number three. I don't really remember ordering these. Maybe these were sent to us uh, for free or something. This is cover C, or maybe somebody has. Uh, maybe somebody else may have uh, ordered some of these because that's we have a cover A as well. So got a C and an A of that Neon Future. So you've got Oz, Heart of Magic, cover A, set aside for one of my regulars. Here is the cover A's of Flash, number 71, part 2, chapter 2 of Flash, year 1. First issue is really, really good. If you've not had a chance to pick that up, certainly do yourself a favor and pick that up as well. Here's the cover C of, I mean cover B of Justice League Dark, number 11. Very good looking cover there as well. We've got Siri. Again, logos at the bottom. You want this book not to sell. Issue number 8. I don't order any shelf copies at all, and that's one of the reasons. These all get set aside for people. I'm going to grab that phone in just a minute here. We've got Underdog and Pals, issue 1. I'm going to pause this now quickly. Okay, we're back. We uh, The camera let out, uh, stopped, went, uh, shut off because the guy I was talking to, guy from era, from Arkansas, uh, just took too, much, too long to talk to him. Got the new Gretto here. This is cover B. That's set aside for a customer. I've got that collection. Uh, I don't know if I had mentioned on this one here. But there's a rather large collection I'm waiting to come in. 60s and 70s Marvels. Guys, calling up asking if it come in yet because there's several books, some Spider-Man, some FFs that he's certainly interested in. So, again, one of those things when they come in, we'll have video footage. If you're interested, I would get in here quickly. Issue number five of Martian Manhunter. Again, this book ran, has, has run probably a month and a half, maybe two months late. So, let's see what else we have in this box here. I see more junior high horrors. I see more of the Strike Force Land of the Giants. So that's probably a cover B on that. Since we got one of the covers already. This is cover B on Junior High Horrors. Again, for the guy up in Monroe, Michigan. Here's Avengers number 19. This is a War of the Realms tie in. We already saw the Blade Battle Lines cover.
Here's the cover B on the underdog and pals. Cyber Force number 10. This is set aside for a poll customer, the same guy that gets the Xenoscope books. Speaking of Xenoscope, here we go. We've got Oz, Heart of Magic, cover D. That's set aside for him. Here's the regular covers. We saw the Retailer Summit black and white variants on Venom number 14, which has the Kyle Holt cover. Here's the regular covers. These will be cover price. These are not going to be cover price. You have to just check back with us. And again, I'm probably the only one in town that ordered them. Maybe one other shop in this area, in the 50, 60, 70 mile area, may have ordered these. Okay, got more Venoms. New issue of Rumble came in. Got that set aside for a poll customer. That's issue number. So it doesn't tell you on the front here what issue number it is. You have to look on the inside. I don't see anything on here. Oh, issue, I guess it's issue number 12. It's hidden right there. Dial H for hero number three. And that's, they got dial V for villain. This is set aside for a customer. Stiletto. Issue three. Here we've got the regular A cover on Batgirl. We had the Josh Middleton, so I only ordered one of the A covers. Batgirl does not sell very well, so that's as many as I ordered. Here's an Alex Ross Goon cover. So we've got the regular A covers, and now we got this cover as well. Here's more of the radically rearranged Ronin ragdolls. Well, those set aside for some customers. I see Action 1011. We see the new issue of Monstrous, issue number 22, no longer shelf copies, set aside for one customer, Savage Dragon number 244, Eric Larson continues his run, all three of those are set aside for customers. Here's Batman Beyond, this is the cover A, gets put out with the, the one copy of the B cover that I'm putting out, because all those other ones are asked for. Ghost Tree number two. We've got the second pretty one that's in. I'm going to check that out and I'm going to try to read Ghost Tree number two as well. The warning issue number seven, number 007 to my Mr. Friend, Mr. Bond. Both those copies are set aside for customers. Here it is a Leviathan Rising Part 5. Action 1,111. If you're not reading this, this is great. A lot of people are biased against uh, Bendis. This stuff, his DC stuff, his Superman stuff, is really, really, really good. Uh, I can't see how somebody can be biased against it. I don't think they're really reading it. I think they're just reading it and just, in their mind, Bendis sucks, Bendis sucks, Bendis sucks. So, of course, Bendis sucks. the stack out. We've got the new Animosity set aside for a poll customer. We've got Grendel. Grendel uh, number, this is cover C set aside for that customer. Here's Battle Lines cover for Surrey. Again, set aside for a customer. So no shelf copies whatsoever. If I had more people buy it, I'd buy more copies. Here's uh, this reprint. Marvel Premiere number 21. First appearance of Misty Knight. Again, they're calling Marvel Greatest Creators. These should be why they, 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 they're called them true believers. Why did they stop? Marvel tries to, is messing stuff with people's brains. New Bone Parish. Those copies are set aside for poor people. New Invader Zim. This is cover A, my only copy for whoever buys it. New G.I. Joe, number 262 with a J. Scott Campbell cover. No, it's not quite J. Scott Campbell, but uh, somebody that looks like J. Scott Campbell. And that's set aside for a poll customer. And this must be cover B of Neon Future. 
So we got covers A, B, and C on that. And this is a cover B on, on Action 1011. This is the cover B. This is the Asgardians cover on Tony Stark Iron Man number 11. Again, we had the cover that you can't really tell what's going on there. In this cover, at least you can tell what's going on. Junior Ohio Horrors. This is cover A, again, for the customer up in Monroe. We've got Sandman Universe, issue number 8 of Books of Magic. Copy that gets set aside for one of my poll customers in the Cleveland area. And here's cover A of Detective 1004 with the Arkham Knight. This has been really, really good. If you're not reading this, read it. We've got Oz, Heart of Magic issue 2, cover C. I've got that copy for my poll customer. We do have a copy that's going out on the stands. We've got Grendel, issue 3. This is cover D, again for the poll customer. I think I will have a Grendel issue, one of the covers that will be going out on the stands as well. This is the variant, the cover B, on War of the Realms, Strike Force, Land of the Giants. Or Land of Giants, not the Giants. We've got Silencer. Issue number 17, Silencer Silenced. So I've got that for you guys. Take this as a 1 in 25 variant on Avengers number 19. We'll have that available for sale tomorrow. Again, True Believers, or as they want to call it, Marvel's Greatest Creators, Tom uh, DeFalco and Ron Friends. This reprints What If number 105, the first appearance of... May Mayday Parker as the new Spider Girl. Looney Tunes 249. Road Runner and Coyote. Poor Coyote gets the bad short end of the stick again. Got Incursion issue four. This is the cover B on that. And we've got these Venom covers here. For issue number 14, these will probably be very, very sought after. I doubt everybody else in town will have enough. So I'll have people coming over here with Carnage. This is the Battle Lines cover. So, very cool Venom cover there. Of course, you got the regular cover by Kyle Holtz. You've got the black and white retailer, whoops, retailer Summit cover as well. So, let's readjust this camera. It's a steady cam as long as you don't smack it. It's okay. Not much left in this box. Pull out the last stack of this comics. Got the Bad Lions cover on Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. We've got Wolverine. Infinity Watch, issue number four of that. So that'll be available. We've got Grendo. This is cover A. Again, a copy being set aside and a copy for the stands. Are you all set there? All right, I'll be right with you there. Uh, oh, it's okay. No, I'm doing my YouTube video. That's okay. I've got my last stack here. I'll be with you in about about two minutes. There, finish up here real quick. We've got GI Joe 262. This is cover A, set aside for a poll customer. We've got the new issues of Midwest, uh, issue number seven. So I'll make sure copies of those get set aside for somebody. Here we have some more Kevin. I think this is Kevin. Yep, the Kevin Eastman cover to radically rearrange Ronan Ragdolls again. I did not order many of these. Do not wait. We've got a variant. I want to say this is a 1 in 10 variant on Job of the Hut, the photo cover. So we've got one of those. New show Freedom Fighters is in. If you've not been reading Freedom Fighters, you need to. This is such a great, great book. You guys need to be reading this. 
tell your retailer, hey, get me copies. I want to read this. You won't regret it. Issue number six, one of the best comics to come out in the last year. We also have second printings of War of the Realms Punisher one. So for those of you that missed it. And then finally, this is Milo Morale, Spider-Man number six. This is the regular cover on issue number six. And as always, if you do enjoy these videos, as always, be sure to subscribe. And if you do subscribe, be sure to smash that bell for notifications so you can be notified whenever I do place these videos. Again, if I get that collection in or if I'm looking at that collection, I'll shoot some video footage so you guys can see what I'm possibly going to be able to buy. Other than that, I thank you. Don't forget to thank your retailer for everything he does to prepare your comics on Wednesday. Other than that, have a good evening and have a better, better new comics day. Drop some cash at your local comics retailer. He'll enjoy it. Thank you. Take care.